Hello, this is a review of um, our word unscrambling game. It's going to go through the code one line at a time, taking a look at it. First, we'll start here at our head of files. If you take a look, we have our basic input output. We're going to use, um, well, you're going to use a vector to update this. It's not used now. We're currently using an array. Um, we will use a string to hold strings, our words, and we'll use the time function to grab the current time from the motherboard. And of course, we're going to make our life easy. And for the things that are in here, they actually have a namespace name, standard STD. So instead of typing it in all the time, I will say using namespace STD, which means standard. All right, first off, I want to pick random words. So I need to initialize the random number generator. So S stands for seed. We're going to seed the random number generator. I'm going to go to the motherboard and grab the current time. That's all this parameter zero means. Sometimes you see people write null or null pointer. It's zero. This says Whatever number you get from time, turn it into an unsigned integer. That means no negative numbers. View it as a positive number. And we feed it to this random number generator, which uses this number to come up with pseudo random numbers. For our purposes, there's adequate. Next, I want some words. So I have the word house, boat, truck, sidewalk. How many of them are there? Four. So, I have a constant, a manifest constant n, and I'm using uppercase, and it's 4, and you can't change it. And the compiler will take this number 4 and create four spaces for strings. So I will have house, boat, truck, sidewalk. This is string words 0, words 1, words 2, words 3. Notice those numbers, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Next, just for the fun of it, I want to display all the words that I have. I want to make sure my program's working. Or maybe I want, in this game, the user to see the words, because we're going to time how long it takes for the person to see the words and unscramble them. So show me the words, skip a line after it. And notice it starts at 0 and goes to n minus 1. N is 4, so it goes up to uh, 3. It'll stay in the loop, 0, 1, two, three. So this I will be word zero, word one, word two, word three. Then we'll skip a line. Now we want to pick a random word, and there's my comment. Create a random number, a pseudo random number, divide it by n. Well, what is n? n is four. So that means if this is a modulo div operation, division means I want the remainder. So if I divide by 4, the remainders can be 0, 1, 2, and 3 instead of 4. So I'm going to put the number 3 there while we're talking. But how did I get that number? It came from the number 4. And that's going to be our remainder. So this is a really clever way of picking one of these words pseudo-randomly. Then I take that word, the rth word, whatever it is, and make a copy in word pick. All right, now I want to scramble the word picked, a scrambled version of our word. So I copy the word again into scrambled. I ask scrambled, how many letters are in there? And I store that in NS, the number of the scrambled letters. Note, each of these words have different uh, counted letters. Next, I'm going to go to a for loop, start from the first letter, First letter of what? Well, my mind says I want to go to the first letter of the scrambled word, letter zero, and go all the way up to the last one, one letter at a time. What am I going to do? I'm going to use my random number technique to pick one of the letters in this word. I don't know which one. It's letter R, the rth letter. So after I get it, I want to swap the one random letter with the letter that I'm looking at. What letter am I looking at? I'm looking at this letter one at a time from 0 to SN minus 1. 
First thing I do when I get that random letter, I make a backup copy of it in temp. Then I take the letter I'm looking at and I put it right in my ran random letter right here. It goes right in. Then I turn around, take temp, and put it in the, the current letter that I'm analyzing or looking at position. So now I've swapped, effectively swapped the letters. Now, in my game, I'm going to start the timer. I'm going to go to the motherboard. What time is it? It's going to give me this huge honking number. Um, we can, you can print this out and look at it. It's in uh, microseconds or something. So it's a huge number, the time of day. And I'm going to put it in T1. And I don't care what unit it's in. It's in T1. Time is never a negative number, so it's unsigned. And there it is. And then I'm going to create another variable called guess. I'm going to show the person the word that is all scrambled. There it is, scrambled. And they're going to type in a guess. Whatever they guess, I'm going to look at it. If they picked, if their guess matches the word that was picked, they're the winner. I get out of this loop. What loop? This do while loop. I will break out. If they did not win, I will look to see, did they type the word quit? Because maybe they're giving up. If they quit, I leave the loop. Eventually, they either win or quit. They leave this loop. When they leave the loop, we then go back to the motherboard and find out what time it is. We call that T2. We take the difference in T2 minus T1. We're going to call that the score. How well did you do? The lower the score, the better. And we'll say, well, it's time. We'll say it's in seconds. I don't think it's going to be hours. And then we'll say thank you for playing our game. Let's see if it runs. So here it is. We know it's bowed, but let's get it wrong. I'm guessing really badly here. And my screen jumped, but here it is. I got both the winner. It took you 22 seconds. Now, our game is one monolithic piece of code. Look at the size of that thing. All of this stuff, these things should actually be put in functions. I shouldn't have to see all of this. Somehow this should be hidden from my view. Even this loop can be hidden from my view. And we want to be able to ask the player, do you want to play again? Not they play once and we say thank you. And we, so that will be a good assignment to think about. 